Ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, Avalanche fans watching and listening on television and the radio, as well as online at coloradoavalanche.com, welcome to this special press conference. Before I let Peter go ahead with his announcement, the Avalanche organization is announcing that we will have a special night to honor the tremendous career of Peter Forsberg. Details of that ceremony will be announced in the coming months. Peter, go ahead. Thank you, John. Let's see if you can hear me. Well, good afternoon. Well, time has finally come. I'm here today to announce that I've been retired from the game of my soccer. One thing's for sure, I won't, I won't <laughs> be able to second guess myself. I really tried, and I tried, and I tried. And I'm, like, I'm really sure about my decision this time. About six weeks ago, after skating back to Sweden, I felt pretty good. I felt better than I felt in a long time. And I think I owe it to myself to give it one more shot. Last Sunday, I decided to give it a shot. I remember telling everybody that I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But we said we give it a try. But after this past weekend, I came to the sad conclusion. Oops. That I was going to have to retire. It was not an easy decision. Believe me, the process of it will be even tougher. Throughout my career, I had 25 surgeries. And I promised my fiance Nicole here that I would not put my health at risk anymore. First and foremost, I'd like to thank Nicole, my parents, my brother, all my best friends back home. They've been there throughout my career. <sighs> I've been very fortunate. I've been surrounded by great teammates, trainers, coaches throughout my entire career. There's too many single out this time, but I appreciate all you did for me. However, I'd like to thank Jerry Trent bar factory in Montreal made at least 200 pairs of skates the last couple of years. It is perfect for me to announce my retirement here in Denver as a member of the Colorado Avalanche. I really like to thank the organization for everything they've done for me, including the last opportunity here. I will always be grateful. I'd like to thank Pierre Lacroix, Don Basley. These two men have been very important to me throughout my career. And I can't thank them enough. And finally, I'd like to thank the great fans of Denver and around the world for their tremendous support and the way you embraced me. The way embraced me from the beginning. Played hockey all my life, but I came to this decision that I played the last and final game. Thank you. We are now ready to proceed to the question period. I'm going to ask you to wait for the uh, microphone before you do so. Right, go ahead. Peter, what what happened? You looked so good the first game, um, played hard in the second game. Was there a certain moment, a certain thing that, that made you realize that your body just wasn't going to hold up, that you wouldn't be able to do this? Well, kind of really. The first game went actually so slow, you know, it's been, you have to take into consideration I've played for a lot of months, and it's been a few years since I've played over here, but the kind of end of the game, I started to feel my, my foot was slipping a little bit. 
And uh, come to the second game, it was, it was getting more in depth. It was not going to work out. You know, I had the brace and uh, a few, few good practices. And uh, I thought it was good, you know, good enough to play with. But like I said, when I came home, and, and I promised her that I was not going to play. If I couldn't defend myself on the ice, and I, so I gave uh, I gave the GM my full call, and I said this, this is it. Not not specific time in the game, it's just as long as you know the skates can get wet and, and being out there, you know, it's a pretty quick game, and I got a little over the over juice since the last time I played here, so let's just go a little too quick. Like uh, Peter, can you tell us? When did the foot problem start, and what led to this? Can you describe what was wrong with the foot? You know, I wish I could. I can you know, describe what's really wrong with the foot. You know, it started in 2003. And uh, the weird thing, I was having the best, you know, the season of my career, and then finally in the playoffs, it just didn't work. Something, uh, you know, I could really, you know, the, collapsed or something happened. I don't really know what happened actually. It was not, it was kind of just maybe a two week period there and then it didn't really start it didn't work anymore. And after that I've been battling this problem and uh, some games have been okay. Uh, I doubt that I had two practices in a row that I had the same, you know, take the same way or did, you know, I was trying new things all the time. And uh, so it's been, it's been a long, on um, one problem for the last maybe eight years. I've been battling going back and forth. I, had, I don't know how many surgeries I had on the foot, foot and the day sometimes, and then it started getting bad again. So, but it's been, it's been eight years of have been this problem. Can't do it anymore. Right here. Peter, we've been paying for these two games, and also, not to ask the obvious, but how disappointing is it not to have had the chance to just play one game from there? Yeah, you know, the, the weird thing with the foot is it doesn't really give me that much problem. It doesn't hurt too much. It, the foot moves in the skate, so that's why I've been getting like versus sex throughout the last couple of years and it removed and stuff like that. But uh, I played with the brace, and then, like, to keep the brace in place, I had to take it pretty hard there to keep it in place. But it didn't Stay down there from kind of down to the end of the games, but uh, so I can't say it's hurting. It's not been that problem. It just doesn't fit in the skate. Like it's just been moving. Yes, and I, I think you guys just wow. <laughs> it's very disappointing to play game. I really want to come back and, and, and play the last. 30 games here and have a good time and maybe help the team get into the playoffs. But, you know, yesterday when I thought about it, you know, I couldn't get on the ice here and skate around and, and people expected me to be good and, and, and cheer it and then maybe I have to retire the next day. I couldn't do it. And I thought it was better to make a decision today. And also, as soon as I could, make a decision for the team so they can move on and, and uh, start on the games. Yes, sir. Peter, you're obviously having an emotional thing, obviously, and it makes me wonder, do you think if it wasn't for the foot, you'd have many years left, and why your emotions are uh, so, so raw right now? I would say so. I think, you know, it's been, somehow, you know, sometimes I think, you know, I was lucky I got to play with this without the problem for until I was 30 at least, and it could have came earlier, and, and uh, so I was lucky in that way, but, uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, maybe a little kid that stole a little, 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 little candy from him. It's, it's, I could probably, probably play it maybe a little longer, but uh, maybe if I played, uh, now I've been having so many breaks and not playing, maybe if I played the whole time, I maybe could have retired anyway. But it feels a little sad that I have to retire without going in my own way. And I really wanted to come back and have a good year and, and, and play good, and then I could retire on my own terms. I'll get over it. It's uh, something I have to live with. And uh, like I said, I, I was happy, I'm fortunate that I got to play. I got to win a lot of things before I was 
32 leagues and it's not like I was chasing to win the cup. I got to win two cups and two Olympics and two world championships before I was happy. So in that case, I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy with that. And, and I, when I look back, I'm going to be feeling pretty good about my career. Do you, do you think you're done, period? Or maybe play back in Sweden? No, I'm done, period. I, I don't want to put myself on the ice. I, I can't do it. But, Peter, all those accomplishments you just mentioned, the cups, the gold medals, you could relive one of those days, one of those games. What was the single happiest moment for you on the ice? Well, you know, the first day I won was pretty early. I was at 18 years old in the Olympics. I think it was 20, the first cup was 22. Uh, it feels like a long time ago. Championship. So I don't know which one was the best. Uh, you know, if you look, because I was playing really well in those three things, and in 2001 I was not on the ice because I had clean surgery and stuff like that. And, but maybe 2006 because I've been battling this problem, I haven't won in a long time, and just going over there and, and, and be able to be part of that team because I played with those guys for a long time with some team and South for some Fistra, and we got finally to win it together and look at gold. And, and, uh, so uh, maybe that was the most, the best one that, that felt the best in the heart. You know, the, the first couple was like, you know, you're so young, it's like, this is easy, and we, we never care. But and then you realize that after uh, you have to have a special team, you can be really fortunate to be able to win something. And in 2006, we won the Olympics, which uh, it's, it, it's great. Uh, you've accomplished a lot in your career, obviously. What do you hope your legacy is? What do you hope people remember most about you in your time playing? Uh, well, I start thinking about that maybe a little last night. And, and I hope people here that will remember me like that they couldn't say that.
to say that. I have no bad memories. It's all been good. Even if I struggle the last couple of years, it's all been good. Peter, you're um, obviously not going to play the game anymore, but do you still want to be a part of the game? Do you have any visions of doing anything within the game, the NHL, or you know, have any ties to Denver? Uh, we'll see what happens in the future. I mean, Before, when I was younger, or mid 20s, I said I would never work with hockey, it's too much anyway, but lately I've been saying you know, to help out, uh, we'll see the moto, we'll see with whatever I have to come to, just come, come along, but uh, we'll see, I, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. Uh, I have a lot of things going back home, uh, so uh, uh, not worried about it. <laughs> I like to be involved in hockey a little bit, at least, you know, I, I love the game, and uh, the more I've been watching the last couple of years, I've been doing more, you know, I've watched more and more games, and I think I um, should do something in hockey, yeah, so I'm not going to do it. Are there any more questions in English? As I said earlier, Peter won't be doing any one-on-ones uh, -on -ones or sit-downs, so feel free to ask any question. One more, quick, quick. one more quick one for you, Peter. Do you know of anybody else who has suffered this affliction? Anybody else with a similar injury? No. I don't know anybody that had the same thing. Uh, I haven't looked for anybody that had the same problem, but uh, to be honest, I, you know, I've been coming around to a lot of doctors, and, and we don't really know why it doesn't mean uh, So, it's been very frustrating. Uh, not be able to solve it, you know, I, like everybody tells me, like every other when I see darkness, like you can fly to the moon, you should be able to fly to the moon, you should be able to, be able to fix it, but, but obviously it's been a problem, but, uh, and not be able to solve it, and, and, uh, but it's okay now, I'll take a couple weeks here and take a while, and then, but I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm happy with my career. Mark is oh, what what did you love most about hockey and why is it so hard for you to give it up? Well I love being on the ice and I love winning games. I think that's you know walking out of the building knowing you did great, you know you did score a couple of goals or you got somebody who scored a couple of goals in one game and everybody's happy. Practicing, working around the guys. Uh, so I actually gonna miss everything. But I uh, most most of it is just winning and be be in an atmosphere when everything is great. We do a lot of things. Everybody's happy. Life is easy now. Right? So uh, it's a little tough leaving the game. Do you have any regrets being so stubborn about giving it up? Well, yeah, I do. Like if I, if I knew then eight years ago that I was not going to get a fix, <coughs> yes, I, I, would, I would retire back then. But back in my mind, I thought it was going to get fixed, and I kept on playing. And, um, and it's been hard games. Like it's been games that I didn't feel good at all. And, Pulling groins and hurting, and sometimes I feel like I, I saw the media more than I saw my teammates explain, explaining why I was hurt. And uh, so it's been it's been tough times. Uh, uh, every single year has been in battle. And so in that sense, we look back and I'm happy that it's finally over. To sit there and answer the questions like that. Yes, sir. You know, we talked to some of your teammates on it today, except that they couldn't tell when they were off the building in Nashville that uh, you made this decision. Did you already know when you left the building in Nashville that you were going to come to this kind of team? I wasn't 100% sure when I left uh, the game that I was, after the game that I was coming. I was struggling there at the end of the game and I couldn't really do what I wanted to do with the ice and I had it back in my mind and I was not in a good mood. Lost again, and, and, and uh, 
not really until we spoke the next morning and <laughs> that I kind of made up. I, I had a feeling after the game that, you know, it's, maybe it's better for me to, to leave the game before I get to the game. And uh, so when we brought up the discussion in the morning, he said that I, that I can't protect myself. So uh, that's when it went pretty quick, actually. I think I called Greg after like an hour, went out to his house to explain the situation. But after the game, I was 100% sure I was kind of had to go home and think about it. Yeah, one last question. Adrian David. <coughs> Right thing to 